Hello everyone, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 and we live in a post-update 2 era so it's time to make some very important improvements to Dominion City, to, to our city in Yosemite Valley. So what I want to do first and foremost is improve the farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these these wimpy brush trees that we, that we placed previously. You can just get rid of all of that and um, maybe we'll leave this a field but we're also going to get rid of them over here because we finally have the beautiful the incomparable individually placeable trees now what i can also do is i can slim down uh these uh oh this is a this is a tour path actually <laughs> let me fix that real quick so what we can do is we can slim this down so we can have more rows because our individually placeable trees are nice we can get them really close together so i feel like i'm going crooked am i going cro i'm probably going crooked yes i'm definitely uh yes yeah so this update update number two is going to really change Dominion City is going to really change every park that we build in this game from henceforth on. But I'm I'm really excited about what this is going to mean for this particular park building series. Dang it. This one, this, this, you know what? Let's make a double one. Like, let's make this one. This one is thick. This one is thick, okay? Let's just do it like that. Because otherwise I don't have, I don't have enough space for two. And then we'll do another strip in between over here here all right now yeah it's um it's a little uneven is that gonna upset me i guess because these are even it sort of uh makes it all right so let's fetch our individually placeable trees now it is a shame that we can't mix the 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 trees from the different biomes but i'll i'll, I'll take it i'll take it now what i want to do is i think i'm gonna start with these i'm gonna toggle to random rotation and initially you know the idea here was oh we have one remainder over there was like that was sort of like a christmas tree farm i think we can do two rows let's do two rows so we're just gonna place down rows of these individually placeable trees this is really going to up the uh the individually placeable stuff count i have been told that there is a limit on how many items you can have in a park and i feel like this city is already getting kind of am i still going i'm going pretty straight i feel like this city is already inching maybe towards that limitation because as i said in the previous episode um yeah we, we have some frame rate drops in this park so i feel like i'm really already testing it and this is this is not helping and i uh, i predict that i'm just going to make things worse as this park build progresses but that already looks so much better looks so much better now obviously this is this is inspired on an idea that i had for jurassic world evolution one and it was the the paleo farm idea where you you know uh, you pretend that a part of your park is just designated to growing the the vegetation that your dinosaurs your herbivorous dinosaurs need to to eat to live as you you know you do want to keep them alive generally speak and i still really like that idea i like giving like little little bits of realism to the dinosaur parks that i build for example like uh, the water filtration system for the lagoons and i think this paleo farm idea matches with that really well so i definitely also want to include that in like my actual parks you know uh this sort of we need we need a space where we just grow vegetation for our dinosaurs i think i think it's pretty pretty cool i think i'm gonna do um two more rows of these and then we're gonna we're gonna switch it up i guess really what this park is going to be is testing what is actually the limit to placeable items that we can put in one save file. I think I think I think we're gonna find that threshold with this park build at some point during this series. I feel like that's gonna happen. Alright, so let's go for the next row. Oh, these are so cute. Yeah, let's go for the Oh my god, I'm gonna break my game. Give them a little more space. They need more sp they need space to grow, you know? So we're we're spacing them out a little a little more than necessary. 
All right, all right. So let's go for something bigger in this area. Uh, ooh, maybe. Or maybe I should go for these. But what would be like the purpose of this? Like this would be if you were if you, it would be like for for timber. But that's not really what I'm going for. Hmm. Yeah, there's only so many. So that's that one. So maybe we'll go one size bigger. Let's just do it. Living the dream. Testing the limits of this game. <laughs> Has anybody already encountered, like, the uh, the maximum amount of things that, that you can place? Like, what happens when you reach that amount? Is it just, like, game over? Or does the option to put down more stuff disappear? I don't, I don't really know. I've just heard from people that it exists. It's like this mysterious thing that's out there this this danger that looms over all park builders and i'm kind of i'm curious yeah so if you've encountered that what what happens what what fate awaits me what sort of hellscape am i uh am i creating for myself here all right so that's that now what am i gonna go for with this round Ooh. Mmm, it's not ideal, but it is a nice way to get different trees in here. Like, yeah, it doesn't make that much sense that they're in planters. But I do like that it mixes it up. So I am going to go with this. I need to turn off random rotation. Get them in line. Let's do this. Just so we have some different trees. We can pretend that there's some purpose to these trees being in a planter. I don't know. I'm not a farmer. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I know path, and that's pretty much it, okay? That's the that's the sad limit to my expertise. <laughs> and of course, if you're watching this video, if you're enjoying it, please give it a like. But what I also really need from you are dinosaur suggestions. So leave those in a comment down below. Which dinosaurs do you want to see rampaging in this Dominion City in the final episode? Of course, since this is the first episode after the C Camp Cretaceous DLC, we are going to be adding Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs to the park. Uh, I'm kind of hesitant about doing hybrids because that's not really what Dominion is going to be about. So what I, th I think I'm going to go with these trees just to mix it up a little bit. So what I think I should do is avoid the hybrids since, yeah, they're not going to be a part of the movie. They're not going to be part of the, the escaped dinosaurs. Yes, that does unfortunately mean no Indoraptor, no Scorpius Rex, uh, no Indominus. But I just think that that's going to be the more faithful to the franchise approach, right? So yeah, just... Give dinosaur suggestions, but no hybrids. Unless you can convince me otherwise. If you have a compelling argument, <laughs> do share it. You know I'm I'm open to changing my mind. But for this episode, it's going to be Monlophosaurus and I think Uranosaurus. And stick to that one carnivore, one herbivore edition every episode. Alright, so that is one part of the farm done. Let's go to this section, and I think I already peeped which one I want to put in here, and that's this fluffy, fluffy, fluffy bush. I love these. These are actually my favorite, because they're just so, yeah, they're so fluffy. They're so voluminous. I really like these. Love it. I really, I really, really, really hope that... Maybe I should make this my mission. <laughs> I've complained so much to get individually placeable trees in this game and it finally happened. Maybe my next mission should just be to keep complaining until they make it possible to have uh, every tree in every biome. I really don't think that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> but it would be a noble goal because it would just be so nice. For example, the uh, the tropical biome has one tree in particular that I really like. It's just this really full canopied tree. Is that a word? It's a word now. And I would just love to mix that with these these bushy ones and maybe a couple of red ones from the Can Pennsylvania map. Oh, it would just be so good. Frontier would be so good. I really think that um, 
they're not doing that sort of stuff because of the consoles. They're trying to avoid as much as possible having difference between PC and console. And that also brings me to answering the most asked question on my channel. People keep asking me, uh, how do you have Jurassic Park, Jurassic World and DFW buildings in the same save file? And every single person who asks that is a person who plays on an old generation console because new generation consoles and PC have it as a standard. They have it as a standard that you can choose all buildings and you can have the, the quote unquote mixed eras in your park. And unfortunately, that's not the case for old console. It's some sort of limitation, uh, a technical lim limitation there. And it's causing a lot of confusion and I'm just, I, I'm getting this question so often and I feel like it's my duty at this point to just keep telling you. Unfortunately, it is a old console limitation. And I think because um, it is such an issue with the difference between those old consoles, new consoles and PC, I think they want to avoid more of that. And I think that's why they'll probably never mix the biomes because that's going to be another another difference that is going to make uh, old console users upset. Maybe even new console users. Maybe it's even something that new consoles can't handle. Oh god, I messed up there. So yeah, I do th I do th predict that that's what we're dealing with. But I might as well ask. So Frontier, please. <laughs> Please! <laughs> now we need to trim this edge. Look how fluffy they are! They're... I don't know. Are bushes cute? I don't know. I think these bushes are cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm a simple person. I like... I like the bush. <laughs> okay, so let's, like, trim this tree line a little bit. Be gone, you, over there. And... Um, maybe just use like the small shrubbery over here. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We, we really do be taking this game to the limit right now. All right. So we're going to get rid of the, like the, the brush foliage stuff. We're going to go over here and we're going to use the, oh my God, they're so small. Oh no, they're so small. Oh no, 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 no. I'm going to do a couple more of the fluffy ones. Okay. Cause... Those small ones. I'm gonna have to play so many to fill this field. I'm not, like, okay, I'm fine with testing limits, but I would prefer if my PC didn't, like, literally explode. And, you know, for your for your paleo farm, if you're incorporating this into your regular park and it's for the purpose of feeding your herbivorous dinosaurs, you can just pretend that, you know, this is uh, some sort of paleo bush that your, that your dinosaurs eat, or maybe um, berries or nuts grow on this bush that you uh, that you need for your dinosaurs. Whatever, you know, use your imagination. You know what, maybe I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna use all fluffy ones. I just love the fluffy ones. I'm gonna overdose on the fluffy ones. Look, fluffy is good. <laughs> Any pet owner will agree. <laughs> also, I'm just... Uh, Making excuses to avoid having to place the teeny tiny ones. I do admit that. Yes, you caught me. You caught me in 4K, okay? Actually, so you caught me in 1080p. <laughs> I, do, I do think that the more of the same type of foliage that you use, the more it really looks like a farm. Because farms are, you know, these types of farms at least, like these mass farms, they are really uniform in what they produce. So having uniform spacing and the same type of foliage really helps in selling the the visual that it is a farm instead of just foliage. All right, last one. There you go. See? Now that's a farm. Okay, so one other thing that someone suggested, uh, they actually suggested this a while ago and I could have done this with the old planters as well. Let me get rid of, uh, let me get rid of all of this. Oh, right. There are pterosaurs in the way here. Sorry, love. Oh, no. One of them is stuck. One of them is stuck. Actually, maybe I should have done it over here. I should have done it over here. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> I made, I made a oopsie. That happens. Yeah, because these, 
these rows are much wider than these. We're going to do it over here instead. So we're going to get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of all of this. Be gone. So what someone said is to use planters as the nursery. Now, obviously, when they said that, it, it evolved around these planters, right? Just the regular planters. But these have a much more... Um, non-decorative look to them. That's the best way I can describe it. So I think these would work really, 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 really well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Yeah, so they're pretty much lined up. No, don't sit there! I was gonna build there, you dingle doofus. And I think I'm gonna do it like... Oh god. Oh god, I left the random rotation on. That's a big mistake. Big mistake. There you go. And maybe... I guess do two. And we're going to leave space for the Holy Spirit. And by the Holy Spirit, I mean just space for, for workers to get in between there. But I thought that was a really cute idea. Like a plant nursery in the greenhouse. If I can find your comments, I'm going to do my best to find your comments. And I'll edit it in this video. Because it is... It, it was an idea suggested by a commenter. So all credit goes to that person. I just really hope I can find your comments. Because I forgot to save it. Uh, but if anyone has good ideas for for Dominion City or for future park builds, you're always welcome to share it. And I promise I won't forget to save your idea so I can actually share it. I'm gonna look for it though. I feel like I've been really inconsistent in my spacing. <laughs> yes, I've definitely, I've definitely increased the spacing the further back I went. But that uh, that's okay, I guess. Here, see, and this is our plant nursery. I think that's a that's super cute. I also maybe want to mix it up and do the other ones like this. Yeah? No? Yeah? No? I need your guidance, but you can't help me. I'm on my own. No. I'm gonna make sure that I'm really looking down on them so I can get the spacing relatively uniform. Don't you dare land there! Whatever you are, I think Geosternberg, yeah? Don't you dare. I'm making a nursery here. Don't get him away. I see you flapping over there. Don't you dare sit down. I'm uh, working here. So yeah, what you want to do is to create like paths in between. I'm going to delete a couple. So I'll delete those and I'll delete those. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Dang it, Geo. What? Are oh no. Oh no, Houston. We have a problem. I have created not flying reptiles, but floating reptiles. Somebody needs to call in Dr. Wu because this is an issue. Could you please move? Could you please move? Could you, could you, could you, like, please? Please? Pretty please? Could you float somewhere else? That'd be very helpful. You know, this would be a perfect space for you to float. Not, like, you know, just as a suggestion. You know what? Let's go, let's continue our let's continue our good work over here so we're gonna line up and we're gonna do them like this again because i actually feel like i might prefer them in this orientation <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna do the entire thing but that's pretty cool i really 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 like that i'm really gonna do my best to find your comments i am i am committed yeah and if you go over here i don't know you just uh, like overlook the nursery i guess i i like it i like this a lot. Okay, so one of the other things that we can improve now. Oh, look at all these goats. Why? Why are you sideways? <laughs> are you sideways because of a goat? <laughs> um, one of the other things, as I was saying, is, that is a big improvement is we can put a nice fountain in the square. So what I'm gonna do is yes, fountains are over there. Love. I'm gonna do the big one or this one. I like. Th I don't know which one is my favorite. Initially, I thought this one because size matters. But this one has height. And you know, length? No, length doesn't matter. I should stop this. I should stop this. I think I'm going to go with this one. Ooh, <laughs> look at the delay in the water. <laughs> I'm I'm sprinkling. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm going to do it. Bam. In the middle right there. And, you know, we have more fountains. So what we can also do... This is a very fountain-heavy plaza. Because fountains are new and I want to play with them. So we're going to do... Um... 
Oh god, see? <laughs> Look at that massive delay. Uh, let's try that again and be a little bit slower in moving the cursor after clicking. And then I'm gonna move him over here. Yeah, and I really like doing this. Like, you know, enhanced with the path color. I don't... Nah. 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 I could do this. And I will do this. Pretty cool. And I think we might be able to squeeze some trees in here. Squeeze some trees? Yeah, we can. Look at that. Uh, I feel like I should go a little bit smaller on the edge. There. Because these, ha these have more, like, filler. L these, these, these fluffy bushes are so good. Look at them. They're so good. We need this fl we, we, Frontier, I need these fluffy bushes everywhere in my life. Not just like in the game, but in my life. I need them all over. They're amazing. And of course, what I did over here, like these two pathetic ginkgo trees. We can get rid of those. We're gonna do something different. What, what though? That's the question. I think... Oh god, I need to turn off research. Hold on. Sandbox settings. Uh, that's like the second most asked question. For some reason, the default in creative sandbox mode is expeditions and fossils on. Switch that to off. Research its default on. Switch it to off. Apply. Yes. And that way, you just get all your contents in the sandbox maps. I don't know why they set those to default when you enter sandbox through creative mode. Because uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did that. Or maybe I did flattened. Oh, I might have done flattened, actually. But anyway, if, you, if you're missing stuff in your sandbox modes, go into your sandbox settings and change it to uh, research off and expeditions off. Alright? Alright. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, like, I still need to change these buildings, by the way. Really dreading it. Um, but I do like those trees. So, which planter, though? This planter... Not that one. I like this one. I like this planter. Okay, so... I'm gonna do, like, a, a nice row of these. I think that's cute. I love these. I love these yellow trees. I also want these without the planter base. I'm being so spoiled. Like, they literally just gave us the best update ever. And I'm, like, already uh, <laughs> wanting more. I'm so, so spoiled. And I'm sorry. At least I'm self-aware, right? <laughs> Can I get brownie points for that? It's, it's decent in terms of spacing uh, consistency. I'm not, like, winning any, uh, any wards here, but... I feel like it's too... It's too much of the same thing. Let me rethink this for a second. Hold on, let me get rid of some of these. And by some of these, I mean most of these. How about we just do three? And then three over here. From the other side, three as well. One, two, three. Just to prove I can count. <laughs> there might be some doubt about that. <laughs> there. And I think I need to switch it up and do something different here. So maybe what we do here is... Like... Let's center it. And... Uh, pull. Maybe like a light. You know, for a little bit of variation, right? Might even want to, if I can... How close can I get to this? I can get pretty close, so I might actually want to enhance this with a, uh, a fountain. If you do have the free build mod, you can make like some really cool combinations. But for now, without mods, that's what we're gonna do. You can still make cool things without mods. I feel like that is like my purpose in life to prove that. Even though I, 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 I'm really struggling not to get mods because they're 
they're really good. <laughs> Maybe to fill it in a little more, we do these on either side. I quite like that. I quite like that. And of course, we're going to do my favorite thing ever here. <laughs> the parasols. I won't count them for this book. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I feel like I can make a lot more improvements. For example, I want to I want to use like all of the new stuff, but I don't I don't think, you know what? No, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> this this square has torches, okay? It just has torches because I say so, because I want it. And maybe like amber? Because these light up really nice at nighttime. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna leave it at that because obviously we spent a lot of time on the farm over here, but I really wanted to share this with you because I just think that if you if you use like this amount of land in your normal parks, call it a paleo farm, I think that's super cool. You're definitely gonna see that popping up. In my future uh, in my future park builds speaking of future park builds i'm also live every saturday including tonight of course if you're watching this on the day of release and i will be upgrading my uk park with all of the new decorations so i really hope you'll join for that we also need some extra dinosaurs in that park so come in for dinosaur suggestions now speaking of dinosaurs what i said we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make the monolophosaurus I'm gonna randomize the skins, even though we have the brilliant, magnificent uh, species viewer now. I like being surprised now and again. Oh, I can turn off scientists. Uh, let me do that. Turn them off. There. You know, they turn me off, so I might as well turn them off. Uh, stop it. <laughs> uh, and, of course, the Uranosaurus, as I said. <laughs> Mm, I know the alphabet, so let's make some pretty, pretty small Uranosaurus. Begin! Uh, let's give it speed. Oh, I think I also have task time still set to 100. Need to fix that right away. There you go. Beautiful. Yes. Oh my god, this update is Mwah, chef's kiss. Alright, let's get a 9. Bam. Yeesh. And these guys, these guys are nowhere near done. All right, first edition, the Monlophosaurus. Let's see if we can get some some interesting randomized skins. I mean, really, the Monlophosaurus has so many good skins that. Yes, when you randomize skins, you get some, you get some really good ones. Like this one, this is the, the Rana pattern on the front. Amazon Rainforest with Rana. Amazing. This one's amazing too, Rana with Svalbard. Look at that, this one's cool too. Probably my least favorite. Oh, this is nice. They're all so good. Maybe this is my least favorite. But yeah, really, really, really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot these and I'm gonna drop them into into my farm. They're like pest control <laughs> for now at least. Oh, task class full, of course. How my Rano's doing? Come on, baby. There they are. Whee! Terrorize some people. We like boats. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe they particularly don't like boats. In the next episode, we're definitely going to be finishing the industrial area and of course sprucing it up with all of the DFW decorations, which are really going to transform this entire section of the build. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And if you are too, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe so you don't miss that part of the build. I want to thank you so, so much for watching this video. In case you haven't noticed, the channel is inching closer to that magical 100,000 subscriber milestone. I'm super excited for that to happen. If you want to be part of that, please consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, I will hope to repay you with a lot more creative Jurassic World Evolution stuff to inspire you for your own park builds. All right. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time. Enjoy the game.